Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. This evening we're going to do a little product review on a 16 inch Dutch oven from Cabela's. Now this is the first time I've bought a Cabela Dutch oven. Most of the ovens I have are Lodge. They're either new enough that they have the Lodge in them, emblem on them or I've gone back and uh, researched to see where they came from. And I've got some, some early um, Lodges before they were labeled Lodge. But anyways, that's what I use. <laughs> got quite a few, but I didn't have any 16 inch ovens. So what I've done is, is, is I went up and bought some 16s. Uh, Nobody else is making them. Lodge isn't making them. I don't know anybody else in the United States. Now, I was told that uh, uh, these are made by the same people that make Camp Chef. I hear Camp Chef ovens are very good. I personally don't have a Camp Chef oven, but, uh, but I've heard that they're good quality ovens, even though they are getting uh, imported in here. But anyway, so I picked up this Cabela, and we'll look at it. Actually, two of them. Two of them from Cabela's. And if you look, here's the box. This is what it looks like when you get them. And this is your 16 inch oven right off the bat. I guess the first thing I noticed is was the finger hole There's not a lot of room to put your finger under there in my lodges Even I've got a couple of outdoor gourmets one was my dad's um, One uh, was a gift of mine. I think those are the only two I have might have picked up one myself early on But anyways, you can you can stick your finger in that lid and grab it this one You cannot so I brought some lid lifters and again it works fine. It works in there good uh, this lid lifter We'll see how it works. It doesn't get work as good. It's not going to want to go under there if you're going to grab that lid uh, You're gonna you got to kind of work it around to get it on there But anyways, you can see it goes on there. I could probably bend that straight a little straighter and get it but uh, Now again, we could catch it with that one and use it, but that's not the way these are designed and uh, I think they had some lid lifters. I don't know if they were Cabela brand. They might work, but uh, that is a that is a problem if you're going to want to use one of these. You've got to finagle it to get it on there. But once you get on, it won't come off easily. Anyways, there we go. The other thing I looked at on this oven is is that it had two uh, two big lid lips. Wasn't sure how that was going to work, but that's fine. Uh, I was concerned when you spun it how it would work but it spins fine it clears the the bell handles got a nice strong bell uh, and on the bottom have it you can tell I just got this one out of the box still got the cardboard on it where it was packed but uh everything looks fine that's the only that's the only difficulty I see they say it is pre-seasoned it's nice and black usually a pre-seasoned one is a little bit uh glossier and of course I'll probably put a couple of coats of pre-seasoning on these uh, before I or I'll season these a couple times before I cook them. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not if I can find it again There is a notch in this lid And If you take this notch and you line it up with the notch that's on the oven itself You could put a uh, probe wire probe in there now um, Probably wouldn't do that till maybe right at the end of the cooking with me What I do is is because I'm always spinning that lid spinning the bottom uh, so the heat doesn't get in one spot, so that may not be something I ever use, but that is a, is a capability and an option with this Cabela oven. But anyways, not a bad looking oven. Looks pretty good. Uh, here's a go. Book on it. It does say lifetime uh, warranty on all Cabela's products. So what I did was I, I looked it up to see what is that lifetime warranty. 90 days, that's pretty much what you got. After that, it has to be some manufactured defect after that time even though it says lifetime warranty uh, but it's a lifetime against manufacturer defect so that's all you got but anyways not a bad looking oven I've got another one to open up over here that we're gonna get out check it out uh, this one was packed very well and uh, we'll see if this was packed as good I'm sure it is so here's our other one y'all kinda see what it looks like coming out of the box now I'm not a neat opener, I'll tell you that right now. 
I kind of dig into stuff, but big heavy uh, staples on there. Let's see how these do. People at uh, Cabela's were real nice. Went up to the one in Buda, Texas, just uh, south of Austin. Picked these up. They had them on sale, actually. 20% uh, off. So, regularly, I think they're $79.99 or something like that. So, I got these ovens for $63 and some change. Which really is a, is a great price. Because if you find an old lodge or an old 16-inch oven, people are very proud of those these days. And it's going to cost you to, to get those. Anyways, there it is in the box. And I now have two 16-inch ovens. I'll keep my open for a good deal on a on an old lodge or something. And that's it. Looks good. Had the pad up on top to protect the top. It's got the other one on bottom we already saw. Some dense cardboard on it. But seems to be packed well. Again, not loop handle just is not big enough. That's the only drawback I see and the only problem. But there we go. Two Dutch ovens. Okay, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. Appreciate it. Hope you like this little quick review of the uh, Cabela's Dutch ovens that I that I picked up the other day. And like I said, right now they're 20% off. By the time this gets posted, that'll probably be over. But anyways, I think they're well worth the 64 bucks, call it that, um, that I paid for them. And uh, I think they'll work well. The only other ovens that I'm really looking for is, and I've got three 14s, I've got about five 12s, I got four 10s, I think, and a couple of eights. But anyways, what I'm really looking for, if anybody sees it out there, is Texaloy Foundry. They have a 14 inch oven and it has a big star on the lid. If anybody comes across one of those, uh, give me a holler. Texaloy no longer makes their Dutch ovens. It's over here in Floresville, Texas, not too far from us. I have tried to call and see if anybody knew we're somewhere floating around over there. And I guess nobody was worried about calling me back or emailing me back over there. But anyways, if you see a Texaloy with the big star on the lid, it's a 14 inch oven. Uh, give me a holler because I am looking for some. But anyways, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. I appreciate it. Go to Cabela's. Check out their 16 inch ovens. Only place I know you can buy a new 16 inch oven now. Uh, that uh, is a good quality oven and like i said i think these are probably better quality than some of the other ones you see floating around out there that are getting imported in i was told these were actually made by uh same people that make camp chef and we know those are good quality uh dutch oven uh from people i have that i know that have one but anyways thanks for stopping by we'll see you down the road on texas style cuisine